to one. Hello there guys, welcome to Dino's World and welcome to a quick fire walk around review of the 2022 KTM RC390. Now this has been long due, we all have been waiting for the RC390 to make a strong comeback. Now the wait is over, I'll be riding the RC390 on the 9th at the Chakan plant. But for now it's already been launched, the launch price is 3.14 lakhs ex showroom Delhi and here in Hyderabad it's around 3.7 uh, plus lakhs on road is what they say that's what I got to know today from the launch event I'm just back from the launch and I wanted to do a quick fire walk around preview of the RC390 before I get to ride it can't wait to go full throttle on the new RC which is going to be setting new standards in terms of riding dynamics and performance because that is what KTM do effortlessly now first of all let's talk about what are the changes the design is clearly inspired by the RC16 uh, replica or the RC16 model that's being uh, you know doing really well at the MotoGP uh, level and uh, you can see the computational fluid dynamics clearly making an influence in terms of uh, design silhouette uh, the drag is reduced significantly the aerodynamics are perfectly sorted uh, the panels are sharper and slimmer and uh, the tank recesses are slimmer as well so that the man and the machine can become one unstoppable force tucking behind the windscreen is easier the windscreen is taller in you know offering better aerodynamics better wind protection and even the rear panels are very sharp and sleek and even the rear bolt-on subframe which is the new addition in this uh, new rc series uh, design uh, uh, silhouette also makes a world of difference in offering supreme handling characteristics and high speed stability now looking at the first thing that uh, the debatable point is the suspension the front suspension in the international market comes with adjustability uh, for compression and rebound damping uh, 30 clicks are you, is what you get uh, in the international variant whereas for the indian variant you don't get adjustable front suspension we do get the wp apex suspension but these are non-adjustable for the front uh, usd folks Whereas the rear suspension is still adjustable and uh, that is a good thing. Now you might say why do you know why Indians are deprived of such features whereas the international ones get those. Now if you look at, at it uh, that way, if you look at few things that uh, KTM have thrown in as standard here because in uh, abroad uh, you have to pay extra to get a quick shifter on board whereas here you get quick shifter plus which is a quick shifter as well as an auto blipper as standard. So that kind of adds on to the value proposition. So that is something you need to weigh in uh, as to whether it really matters to us or not. Why would you want, you know, adjustable suspension unless and until you are a pro racer and uh, you go to uh, the racing pit and then you want everything as per your wish and will for that ultimate precision to, you know, reduce lap times to the bare minimum and take the checkered flag but for daily use for students for professionals who just want to enjoy the adrenaline rush that ktm stands for the intensity that they stand for the uh, technology that they are known for uh, the racing pedigree that they are known for this does more than sufficient justice to what you come expecting from a ktm now the new uh, color schemes are awesome you get full orange and black so with the orange tank it kind of bleeds orange venom and uh, kind of does justice to all those uh, orange uh, army out there who are looking for the new RC. Similarly, you also have this new orange and blue color scheme where you have more bits of blue being added. That is also a distinguishing color scheme and in fact that will distinguish the RC390 from the 200 more because it looks completely different in the flesh. 
Also, you get LED lights as standard, LED turn blinkers integrated into the headlamp cowl rather than what you used to get earlier where the blinkers were integrated into the rear view mirrors. Now, the rear view mirrors are far more aerodynamic, sharper to you know allow better airflow and uh, reduce drag as well. Now, lightweight is another major, major uh, plus here because uh, that is the major theme to reduce weight to the maximum light and fast. And that's those are two terms that uh, define racing. So they have given us the tried and tested powertrain 373 cc single liquid cooled uh, fuel injected engine that puts out 43.5 PS and around 37 Newton meters of max torque and a six speed gearbox. Can't wait to you know run through that super slick gearbox with the quick shifter on board and full throttle to test the top speed at the Chakan facility. But for now. Uh, the seating is plush and uh, supreme quality that I highlighted during the RC200 review. This is almost like Alcantara finish and the padding is thicker. So you sit really, really comfortable. As I told you, the tank recesses are slimmer. So you can grip the tank much more effortlessly. The tank is bigger. Thankfully, that's a major plus 13.7 liter tank for better tank range. The clip-ons are well set. Adjustable by 10 millimeters is what they say. Now, whether we get that for the Indian variant, you can clarify with the showroom guys. We get a full color TFT panel uh, straight from the Adventure 390 uh, and the electronic aids. Now, these are the major things. Before that, let me continue about further more goodies. I've already highlighted that we get Quick Shifter Plus, which is uh, up and down Quick Shifter, Quick Shifter with Auto Blipper as standard. Then the tires, like uh, this is another point of debate. Uh, for a moment, because of supply issues, we used to get MRF, but now we see that we are again getting Medzella Sportec M5s, I believe, and uh, these do justice to the kind of performance, stellar performance that these bikes are going to deliver. Now, anyway, now coming back to the electronic suite. Now you get uh, cornering ABS as standard, you get three axis IMU. Now, what does cornering ABS do? We all know even while braking midway through corner, it ensures that the wheel doesn't lock up. So that is the work or the function of cornering ABS. Then you have motorcycle traction control or MTC. Now, even midway through corner, if the rider asks for full throttle, full power, it will prevent the rear wheel spin or excess wheel spin and deliver the power accordingly such that the rear wheel doesn't spin at the same time you get the momentum that you need. Another safety feature that you have on board is the slipper clutch. Yes, so what does slipper clutch do? Uh, when you want to downshift, when you want to cut down speed, uh, you are going through uh, the gears really, really quickly, downshifting quickly. At that time, the rear wheel is spinning freely, whereas the engine is trying to brake. So the engine braking doesn't match the rear wheel spin. And that is when the rear wheel tends to lock and hop and throw you off the bike. So to prevent that, the slipper clutch watches your back and make sure that the bike comes to a standstill even while doing faster downshifts. Then you have dual channel ABS as standard, massive 320 mm disc. Again, a lot of weight savings here. Uh, the alloy wheels save nearly 3.5 uh, pounds of weight. So everything is built around weight savings. And the chassis structure is lighter, the alloy wheels are lighter, the brakes are lighter. So overall, you end up saving uh, loads of weight and that is what translates into superior performance and reduced lap times. Now, the price again, as I told you, is 3.14 lakhs uh, ex showroom Delhi and here it's around 3.7 lakhs something on road in Hyderabad. And uh, talking about other electronic aids, yes, we talked about traction control, slipper clutch, ABS. Now, I've talked about double channel ABS or dual channel ABS, but you also get Supermoto ABS where you can switch off ABS on the rear wheel and such that you can slide into the corners, brake late, trail braking can work flawlessly and uh, you are in control while trying to push your bike to its limits. So the throttle action, the throttle response is better thanks to the larger airbox. You get better torque, better wave of torque being delivered. Bottom end torque is better. Throttle response is far more aggressive and uh, ride by wire system ensures that the throttle response is precise and consistent without any latency. So all these things work together to offer an authentic RC experience that every KTM RC fanboy is looking for. And uh, the more you ride it, the more you fall in love. The design is kind of uh, subjective. Some people like it, some people don't. I feel this is something that grows on you with time and something that is more functional 
when you ride it you feel the difference and you try to you almost end up falling in love with it with the kind of form uh, with the kind of uh, functionality this design has on offer and how it works in trying to amplify its performance overall so this was a quick overview of the RC390 2022 model if you like what you see and if you like what you see and want to see more automobile content feel free to like share and subscribe and stay tuned for more action coming your way right here at Dino's Vault take care god bless right safe